You know what time it is. It's Monday, make Monday. 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 It's Make Money Mondays with Sean B. Bradley. Hey everybody, this is Sean Bradley, president of Dealer Synergy, and you know what time it is. What time is it? It's Make Money Mondays. What time? I said it's Make Money Mondays. So let's make that money. Now, today I want to focus on the service drive. It's been a while since we talked about service, so I want to remind you that the service is the place to go. Do you realize how much opportunity is right there? First of all, there is usually anywhere from 5, 10, even like 20 times more service traffic than there ever or usually is in your showroom. So why would you just be waiting and waiting for that magic up bus to come by when you have like the Home Depot, you've got the Customer Depot already attached to your dealership. That's right. What's the Customer Depot, Sean? It's your service department. Remember, NADA says that a person at services at your dealership is seven times as likely to purchase a vehicle at your dealership. So I want to talk about a service conversion, but here's a, a unique approach to this. Now, before I go into the approach, I want to share with you that sometimes service writers or service managers or fixed ops directors get a little squeamish about poaching potential profit from the service department. Think about it. They get paid on the ROs, on the repair orders. So they kind of get scared. Well, wait a minute. You want to convert my service customers, my service revenue, and have them not do service and then you know, sell them a newer pre-owned car. That's one strategy, but that's not this video. For this issue of Make Money Mondays, I want to talk about service conversions. Here's a great idea. I would develop a report, or if I already have a report with my service writers or my service BDC, I'd do something simple like this. Everybody that actually went through my service department yesterday, the day before, I want to get that list. I want to look at all the ROs, all the repair orders, after they turned around and left the dealership. And I would benchmark, I would talk to my manager, my GSM, GM, or service director, and I would look at any type of, you know, let's just say red flag. If somebody was in the dealership and they have X amount of mileage on their car, or they're out of warranty, or they just spent, especially this one, if they spent a lot of money buying, you know, uh, you know, a new transmission or rebuilding an engine or whatever it is, this is a perfect candidate for my buyback program. What's that? Listen to it. Here's a word track. Ring, ring. Hey, can I speak to Mr. Customer? Hi, this is him or her. Hey, my name is Sean Bradley. I'm calling from ABC Motors Service Department. Did I catch you at a good time? Yeah, what's up? Well, Mr. Customer, I was calling because it says here you were in our service department yesterday. Is that correct? Yes. Well, first, how was your experience? Oh, it was, was great. Awesome. And it says here that you just basically um, pay for a brand new transmission. Is that correct? Yes. You spent X amount of dollars, correct? Yes. Okay, and it says here that your vehicle's out of warranty and it's got X amount of miles on it. Is that correct? Yes. Now, stop narrative. You see, I'm kind of painting this bleak reminder that they've got an older vehicle, they just spent a lot of money, it's out of warranty, da 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 da, -da and I'm reminding them on purpose. Remember, the, the RO is already clear, the dealership has already received their service revenue. So, what am I doing now? Wait for it, watch this. Mr. Customer, did anybody tell you about our buyback program? No, what's that? Of course nobody did, by the way, because I'm about to tell them. Well, that $1,000 that you spent yesterday on a vehicle that's out of warranty and it's got over 100,000 miles on it, I'm actually able to offer you that full $1,000 back. Yes, I can refund that $1,000 and apply it towards a brand new vehicle or a certified pre-owned vehicle. Would you consider that? Stop. Now, there's different work tracks that we could use, and you can find them on Bradley On Demand, but think about how cool that is. Somebody came in, they spent money in your service department. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. And not only do you make the service revenue, but you could call back almost like a stealth CSI and then try to turn around and offer them a huge opportunity by getting all that money back on a vehicle that's out of warranty old, and you could turn around and apply it towards something nice. And then the whole idea is, Take the shot, take the shot. You can't lose something you never had. Folks, if you like this, trust me when I tell you, we got a ton of this type of stuff, specifically in Bradley and Amanda on BDC. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Make Money Mondays. If you like the information you found here, then you will absolutely love Bradley On Demand. 
Bradley On Demand is the most comprehensive, in-depth virtual training platform in the automotive industry. We teach you everything from internet sales to phone sales, F&I and everything in between. So sign up at www.bradleyondemand.com.